Hey guys, from the Mighty Quinn here, back again today with another TV review. This is the way. Today, we're reviewing Mandalorian Season 2. Let's go. So in Episode 1, you see Mando team up with Timothy Olyphant. And they want to take down this big old crate dragon, which is pretty dang cool. So there's tons of action there. And you also see that Timothy Olyphant has Boba Fett's armor and the Mando wants it back because it's Mandalorian baby so they take out this gray dragon Mando gets the armor back and with the help of the Tuscans the day is saved also at the end you get an awesome shot of Boba Fett armorless baby so you know that he's coming into the story real soon so episode 2 you see the Mando agrees to take this lizard creature to a different planet to fertilize her eggs but he can't use hyperspeed so he gets in trouble with some galactic fuzz. Later on they go to this planet and get attacked by all these spider creatures. Oh my gosh it's full of action and then Republic officers the same ones that gave the Mando crap end up saving the day baby. So. This episode is really, really funny because you see Baby Yoda try to eat all these lizard creatures' eggs and like their nuggies. And I think they definitely keyed in on the whole nuggy meme of Baby Yoda with this episode because he's popping them like he's dipping them in sweet and sour sauce. Just. <sighs> so the Mando and Baby Yoda drop off this lizard creature on this planet. And you see the Mando go on this boat to try to find more Mandalorians. He gets double crossed by the people on this boat and Baby Yoda gets in trouble and then you see Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians in Mandor come down and they attack this boat and then they all go on a mission together to take out this Empire base. This episode is full of action and really great because you get to see Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan reprising her role from the Clone Wars animated series and I love that. Episode 4 you see the Mando go back to the original planet where this all started and he meets up with Carl Weathers and Cara Dune and they're all like yay you're back way to go and baby Yoda totally steals this kid's cookies with the force and it's awesome and hilarious anyway so the Mando, Cara Dune, and Carl Weathers go into Maz base, and that's where they discover, dun dun dun, the true plans for Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is going to get the midichlorians sucked straight out of him, so they can put it into other people to try to make them force sensitive. This episode was full of suspense, full of action, and I loved it. Episode 5. So the Mando meets up with who else? But Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars, played by Rosario Dawson, and it is awesome seeing Ahsoka Tano in live action form. So they take out this evil Empress chick, and you find more out about Baby Yoda that his real name is Grogu. I'm gonna call him Baby Yoda. Anyway, you see that, and you also see that Rosario Dawson tells the Mando about this force beacon and once Baby Yoda goes on this force beacon it's gonna notify any force sensitive people in the area that Baby Yoda is ready to be trained. This episode was awesome and Rosario Dawson did a great job as Ahsoka Tano. So episode 6 you see the Mando and Baby Yoda go to this force beacon and then dun 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 it's attacked by dark troopers which is essentially stormtrooper robots and they look a lot like Emperor Zerg from Toy Story but that's not the point anyway so the dark troopers attack Baby Yoda and the squad and it's all like no and they actually get Baby Yoda no again no all types of no so the Mando and the crew wanna get back Baby Yoda 
but they need a special code to do so. So they break this guy out of prison again, the bald guy in season one, and they go to this Empire base. And the Mandalorian actually takes off his helmet to get into this code computer machine that needs to scan his face. So they do that, and then the the bald dude totally blows up the Empire's base, and it's like pow, pow, pow. And this episode is awesome and full of action, and I love it. So episode 8, aka the season finale. They go to get Baby Yoda back, and tons of dark troopers later, they get Baby Yoda back. And Ma is contained, and that's all good. And then, who comes in to save the day once the dark troopers are at the door and everything? Luke Skywalker. Bah, 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 oh my god. Anyway, so Luke Skywalker comes in and he's like, I'm here to train Baby Yoda. And then Mandalorian's all like, This is his helmet. Bye, Baby Yoda. And I'm all like, <laughs> Baby Yoda. And then you see at the end, a secret after the credit scene called Book of Boba Fett. So there's more to come, more in store for Disney Plus Star Wars. Yeah. So that's the end of season two. So what are my final thoughts on Mandalorian season two? It was non-stop action. But I feel like they missed out on a lot of the fun of season one. Baby Yoda, I I mean Grogu didn't get near as much screen time. A lot of this season was putting other characters in the spotlight like Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, and Ahsoka Tano. They were all great, but I feel like it might have been a ploy to get more people into the Clone Wars. The Mando himself showed a lot of character development in this season, which was cool, but I feel like he also changed a little bit too much. He went from Dark Knight to Daddy Daycare real quick. Overall though, this season was a fun watch with tons of awesome action and pretty cool moments for the fans. I'm excited to see what lies ahead. I give Mandalorian Season 2 a 4 out of 5. This has been From the Mind of Quinn. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links will be in the description. And remember folks, I'm from the mind of Quinn, reminding you to always be mindful. This is the way. Peace out.